All right, and so now this one is about the negative words program. And um, yeah, so the first thing that we want to do here is have the program ask the user to enter in words one at a time, and then they will type in stop if they want to stop entering in words. So we would need like a, uh, probably like a string input make it equal to some empty value like that right? and then we're gonna have a loop going on that will keep on going as long as input a while loop of course because we want it we don't know how many inputs are gonna enter uh, input going as long as it's not equal to the word stop and it will enter the loop the very first iteration because input is equal to nothing right? it's equal to um, non-character I'm sorry empty string so we come inside and the first thing you want to do is take in the input so we say like input is equal to scanner um, so then the user is entering their input and what do we want to do okay and so now we want to check to see if what they entered in is in the words array right so we do have this words array um, that is four elements long that has the four words in there and uh, I think that the I don't know the way that I was thinking about it is that you would have a for loop in here that would run you know um, word dot length number of times and then for each time you would have a check in there and you would have check if input is equal equal to words sub i right and if that's true then what would you do okay then you have a uh, word count array that is going to be incremented. So you have a word, let me just put like that, w count array um, that has the same number of elements as words has. So words has four elements, word count will also have four elements. This one here, you're going to initialize everything to zero because, let's hold on there. Yeah, so I'll just uh, keep talking over. Um, so our words element here is going to have four elements. Our word count here is going to have four elements also. And basically the first element here is counting how many times the first element here has been entered in on the input. The second element here counts how many times the second element has been entered in as an input. So that means that we would want to initialize everything in this array to zero. Um, because you know there hasn't in the very beginning there hasn't been any um, words inputted in yet so the counts are all zero so then if this happens then you know that the input that they entered in here is um, in this words array um, and you know exactly what spot which uh, index it is it's at i so then we would say word count uh, sub i plus plus right and that's like plus you add one we're incrementing w count um, sub i. So if we're talking about the third element in words, then the third element in w count is going to be incremented from zero to one. Yeah, zero to one. Okay, so that's that. And then we're going to define a, a count method that's going to count the total ratio of negative words to non-negative words. Okay. So then um, let's say that we finish this loop here, and um, that's pretty much the whole top part and then the last part we're going to do system dot out um, dot print line and we're going to run count and we're going to send it the words array okay and then what is count going to do count um, what is it going to do okay so then if we're over here what count is going to do is this going to run a for loop from uh, words dot length number of times and then it is going to add up all of the numbers that are in the word oh no I'm sorry w count w count here right ooh w count here too okay w count is what we're sending and uh, yeah we're gonna run w count uh, for loop that runs 
the number of elements that w count contains and then we're going to increment a counter um, which we initialize to zero let's say we have a counter right here we're going to set it equal to zero and then inside of the loop we're going to say counter is equal to counter plus uh, w count sub i and so yeah so what is this doing it's basically we're using counter to count up all of the values that are in the w count array which is um, representative of how many times the words in this array have been inputted up here and so we will return that value after we finish the for loop so we will return counter after the for loop and so yeah and then we'll do that and then we'll use that number along with the total number of words that were entered in and in order to figure out that calculation we need to have a total count variable maybe we could have a total count equal to zero up here at the top and then in the for loop every time they enter in a number on the input scanner you will um, say total count plus plus count plus plus right so every time they enter one in then we're incrementing total count and then that's going to give us the total number of words that were entered and then this one here is going to give us the number of uh, keywords from the array that were entered in and then we could use those two numbers by dividing the n counter by the total count to get the percentage um, of negative words that were entered in by the user so that was negative word